Um, do you know what this is all about? No. Well, I'm a little bit nervous about being interviewed. I, I've never done anything like this. I wonder if I'm dressed okay. <laughs> Have you ever done this? Uh, I'm sorry, do you know what time it is? 9.57. Um, thank you. I, I hope I didn't bother you. I, I'll just sit down over here. Ceiling is so low, I can't breathe in here. Where's the coffee? Would you mind? I guess you didn't see NBC's four-part series on the hazards of secondary smoke inhalation. Keep the lung cancer to yourself. I'm sorry. S-O-R-R-Y. There's no sign. You can smoke if you want to. I was simply exercising my right to protect myself from a carcinogenic situation. You mean the one in your head? That's all right. Tomorrow's another day. Bitch. Hello, ladies. My apologies for being late. There is a war going on out there. First day sale, need I say more? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Be glad you're in here. Okay, I'm just about ready to start. We at the company want to improve our products to better satisfy you. And we need your input. So, how's everyone feeling today? Good, good. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourselves? I like to have a little get friendly, get acquainted time before we start. A little gossip to loosen us up. We're going to get to know each other very well. So I suggest you open up now. You do, you start. <laughs> uh. Well, uh, I got married six years ago. I have two kids. Um, I teach preschool. That's My husband good, works. You're married, so we don't have to worry about you. And you, darling. Margaret, tell us about yourself. I came to be dead once, maybe twice. <laughs> I see. A shy one. This will be good for you. You'll thank me for this. There is nothing else like openly talking underwear with a group of bright women who really know where it's at. A woman needs to talk about these personal issues.